The Orobamba River, also known as the River of Life, forms a unique archaeoastrological alignment with the Monongahela River of the Golden Triangle of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This unique geonodal alignment is also represented in the convergence between the Andean Cross and the hypocycloidal symbol of the Steelers logo. The four points of the hypocycloid representing the four cardinal directions, the solstices and the equinoxes, and the three colors, gold, for the golden sun of Inti, the Incan solar deity, and green, is it green or red? Red. Gr red, representing the, the fertility of the landscape, the uh, Pacha, as we say in the Quechua language, uh, which is uh, linguistically and etymologically related to the Pittsburghese language. The, 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 the color blue, representing the, the Apsu or the Tiamat, the abyss of the underworld, the shamanic underworld. The Incans were in fact the first Steelers fans. Now you ask, how is that possible, given that the Incan Empire uh, arose in 14th century, but the site of Machu Picchu is actually far older than our mainstream archaeology teaches us. See, before the most recent glacial age and the last polar shift, Machu Picchu actually was placed, positioned on the planet Earth where Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is today. And this is where Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania used to be before the polar shift. And what we see here in the center of the city is the playing field. As you can see, the, the, the large rectangular field that forms the central space of the Incan residential and, and ritual center of the empire was the original Pittsburgh Steelers Heinz Field. Uh, it's surrounded by the bleachers, and you can see how the, the common people would come from hundreds of, of thousands of kilometers on the Incan Trail to converge here to watch the Steelers games. And uh, the unique interdimensional portal that is created by the convergence of harmonic terrestrial and celestial energies meeting at a nexus at this point is how the Steelers first descended to this planet in order to imbue us with, with culture, uh, with uh, teaching us these, these various rituals, social cohesion to help us uh, build our, our advanced, technologically advanced societies. So the lineage of the royal priests of the Inca subsisted on a unique diet consisting of a maize or, or corn based bread substance uh, which they would place that alpaca or llama meat and then place on top of the alpaca meat sauerkraut and then a fried egg and some french fries and this was the traditional cuisine of the ancient Incan priest craft and they referred to this meal this traditional meal uh, wrapped in a banana leaf and served here uh, on the border where uh, this uh, dispensary, uh, the, 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 the chefs that would prepare this were called, in the Quechua language, the Primantis. Primantis. And uh, the first game of the Pittsburgh Incan Steelers was against the uh, Mayan Baltimore Ravens uh, that took place here in uh, 22,000 BCE. Um, now, what was unique about these games was that the field goal posts were actually giant paleolithic celestial tuning forks that would open up an interdimensional vibrational portal through the minds of the players, the, 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 the athletes themselves. Now, they wouldn't actually physically play the game, but they would consume a, an, an elixir, a, a potion that was uh, one part ayahuasca and one part Iron City beer. And they would mix this potion together. Uh, it's a, chicha is a corn-based version of the beer that was invented in, in, in the Incan Empire.
and after consuming this psychoactive potion composed of Iron City beer and ayahuasca, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the competing team would then lay down on the field and enter into a hallucinogenic visionary state wherein the actual events of the game would take place on a higher vibrational, dimensional, spiritual battle that existed uh, in the unseen shamanic realms. 